Hey everybody, today is September 6th and it marks the anniversary of the passing of one of the most iconic voices in music history, Mr. Luciano Pavarotti. So we're going to play some opera today. Um, his voice was incomparable, but his reach regarding his uh, charitable nature was far, far surpassing just his vocal abilities. Um, go watch any of the documentaries on the man, especially go watch the one that was on HBO uh, a couple of years ago that really did a wonderful job of tracing his life and talked about his achievements. Um, just an absolutely brilliant, brilliant, brilliant artist. And so we're going to listen to some opera today. And we're going to do the song Nesson Dorma. In opera, no song is more identifiable with an artist than that song with that high C and that man. We often talk about the greatest singers of all time. People will point out people like Freddie Mercury and Ronnie James Dio and Rob Halford and Steve Perry and I will point out Brad Delp. And there are absolutely, they're all absolutely incredible. They are. Pavarotti's on a pedestal all by himself. Um, 
There are other amazing opera singers. I am not saying that they're not. Um, there were great opera singers prior to Pavarotti. There have been amazing opera singers post Pavarotti. But the wide ranging respect and influence the, that he had over an entire genre of music, but also not just that genre of music, but to bleed into pop culture, to bring opera to the masses in the 1980s with the three tenors tours. Um, it, it, it honestly, it defied logic at the time. Cause you know, you're in a world where the world is dominated by rock and, and funk and, you know, country and disco and whatever else. And then all of a sudden these, these opera singers come along and they're filling massive facilities with people there to listen to opera and it it really stems from the popularity of Pavarotti um again his influence is so wide reaching that it basically again as i said it puts him on a pedestal all his own you know Again, I urge you, go watch the documentary that was on HBO. Go watch any of his old performances. Go watch the, the PBS specials that, that he was a part of. Go watch the Three Tenors concert and just soak it in. Just absolutely soak it in because, again, rarely in our lives are we fully able to grasp magnificence, you know, only to realize it had slipped away and we we barely have the memory of it. Well, in this particular instance, we can go back, thankfully, and watch these performances and understand what true, true mastery is of the human voice. With that said, uh, again, rest in peace, Luciano. You definitely changed the world of opera. Um, and you definitely had a massive long ranging effect on an art form. And, uh, again, I'm, you know, I, growing up, I was a long haired rocker and I loved listening to the three tenors. And, uh, that's, it's, it's honestly, it wasn't even what I would have called a guilty pleasure because if anybody doubted me, I would have just been like, listen to this and tell me that that guy right there isn't one of the best singers you have ever heard. You know, if anybody says he's not, it's just pure ignorance. It's it's a mindset that says, I'm not going to listen to anything outside my comfort zone. Well, you're a fool, okay? Um, with that said, if you've enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. We can talk about it further. Just know that I appreciate you, and I wish you all well. Take care.